Okay, in this video, we're going to go over setting up your PayPal Payments Pro add-on that is an extension for the WP eStore plugin. Okay, but before we get into the setup of the actual add-on, we're going to go through the process so that you can see exactly how it works. So when you're selling products on your website and you want to give the option for people to pay directly on your website or you want to give them the option to pay by credit card instead of PayPal, then this add-on for the WP eStore is a great solution for doing that. So let's go through the process and let me show you how it all works. So I've already configured a product. It's a digital product for demo. And now we're going to go to click add cart. And once we add it to cart, you can see here that we have one product. And from this drop down, you can choose on how you want to pay. You can pay by PayPal or by credit card. So I'll click on pay by credit card and then we'll click the checkout button there. And then it will take you to this page. So we'll have all the information, the description and then the price on this side and all this information here. And then below that you have the billing information. Now, if this was a physical product, then you would have the billing information and then the shipping information. However, since this is a digital product, then we only have the billing information to fill out. So I'll go ahead and fill out my information here. Scroll down and then I'm going to pay by credit card. I have a MasterCard and then I'm going to press in my credit card number, name on card and all that information there. OK, now that I have all of my credit card information filled out, I'm going to click on submit and once the transaction is successful and the payment has went through without any fault or difficulty then the customer will be redirected back to your thank you page and you have the option of setting the products up on your thank you page so they can download directly from that thank you page however this information will also be sent to the customer's email so they'll be able to download the product when they check their email inbox okay so now let's get into the setup of the actual add-on itself obviously you need to have a PayPal payments pro account okay so I'm just gonna log into my PayPal payments pro account my manager here and as you can see right here PayPal payments pro it's live so that's activated good to go and if you don't have PayPal payments pro then it's actually $30 a month for you to set that up. However, when you use this plugin, that will be waived, as you can see right here, when you use this add-on plugin. So that's a big bonus, okay? So once you have set up your PayPal Payments Pro with PayPal, then you need to go into your PayPal account. And then right over here on the profile, you want to go to My Selling Tools. And then once you get to My Selling Tools, Right under selling online, this header right here, you want to go to API access, and then click on update. Now I already generated an API, so I'm just going to view the API signature. And I'm just going to remove this to show you how you set that up. So I just click the remove button and then remove it again. So now when you come to this screen, the API access, this link will say request API credentials. So go ahead and click on request that API credentials. And then you'll arrive to this page and then you just agree to the terms, agree and submit. That's the license agreement, make sure you read it. And then it'll take you back to this page and then you just show all of these because we're gonna be needing these, okay? So now that we have our API password, our username and our signature, we're gonna head over to our WordPress backend and then here is the actual WP Payment Gateway Bundle Settings screen. And you can find that under Settings in your dashboard. And there it is right there, the Payment Gateway Bundle. Okay, so now once you get to this page, you want to click on Gateway Settings. And then you scroll down, and then you want to make sure that you check on Use PayPal Payments Pro. And then we want to go back to our API. And then we're going to grab our username because that's the first section that we need to fill in, which is right here. PayPal Payments Pro API username. So we just paste that in. Okay, good to go. And then we want to get the API password. 
which is right here. And then we paste that in. And then we want the API signature, which is right here. Copy that, bring it over, paste. Now, that's all you need to do there. But there's one thing I want to bring to your attention when I showed you the demo run when we ran through the actual process of purchasing from your website. This is the name. I set this name to credit card because by default it says PayPal Pro. So you want it to be relevant to what people are choosing. So I just called it credit card and that's how you change that name. And once you have all that set, make sure you scroll down to the bottom and then click on update. And then there's one more thing that we need to make sure that we have set up for our WP eStore settings, which is located under WP eStore under settings. You want to go to the gateway tab, payment gateway settings. And you want to make sure that this is checked. Use multiple payment gateways. Okay. And then you want to choose PayPal because you want to give them a choice. If they want to pay by PayPal, then they can do so. Otherwise, they'll use the actual PayPal Payments Pro credit card feature. Okay, so once that's all set up, I already have mine set, but I'm just going to save it again just to make sure. And then I'll click update, and everything should be good to go. And then let's go back and test it again. So here's our product right here. I'm just going to make sure I refresh that page. And then let's go through the process again. Add to cart. There's our quantity there, and then we can choose pay by credit card or pay by PayPal. This time we'll go by PayPal, and once you click on pay by PayPal, it's going to take you directly to PayPal. Okay, and then you would sign in here and you would pay. Then you'll be redirected back to the thank you page, the same way you were when you purchased it with the actual credit card. So that's how you set up the PayPal Payments Pro. It's a really neat plugin, and it really opens up opportunities for you, especially when People don't really like using PayPal for whatever reason, and they have the option to pay by credit card on your website. So that's a great advantage. And there's one more note that I need to make sure that you understand as well, is that in order to use PayPal Payments Pro, your website has to have an SSL certificate. So you need to purchase that from your hosting company or any third party vendor that actually sells SSL certificates and then you need to get that installed on your website otherwise you cannot use this add-on okay so that's it that's how you set up the PayPal payment pro add-on for the WPE store from tips and tricks